Okay, here we go. More Shenmu. Ryo has a job. We've been doing pretty good at it. We've been doing pretty good on our forklift job. Hey, Shrek, how you doing? It's New Year's Eve. Tomorrow is a new year. Today is just another day for Ryo. Where the bikers gather at night near the harbor cafeteria. Is that them? Probably. There aren't that many bikers around here. Yes, not in real life. Today is the 28th of December in real life. We have days to go. For Rio, though, it's it's tomorrow. But for us. <laughs> yeah, isn't that Sunday? Saturday's New Year's Eve. So we're today's Wednesday, so yeah, we're pretty close. But we still have time. I think my controller works. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Um. Time for a daily warm-up race. You all do your best now. Hold yeah. hold on a second, though, buddy. Like always, three left Just, to the finish. We're gonna not race for a second. I need to check something. On your mark. Almost time to go. Can I access my inventory from here? Ready. Mm. Wait, we can lift this during the race? Why would we even need to? Okay, thank you. That's what I'm I'm trying to figure out. Ready? Go. Oh no. How am I ever gonna catch up? Oh god. I'm trying to figure out if I want to use the D-pad or the or the analog stick. I don't remember which we used. Wait, sir. S sir. Sir, I'm I'm working here. Sir, sir, thank you. So all I have to do is get third. Actually, did we get third before? Let's get fourth to be on the safe side. So I, I guess we're just gonna hang out here for a while. I guess we're just gonna be right here, making the person in third think he's doing a real, real, real good job today. He's not. He's doing as terrible a job as ever. We can at least talk with him. You know, if we aim this right, we can decapitate him. Oh, hi, Mark. Hey, Mark. Oh. Hey, stop that, number four. I'm just saying, you play to win, right? And forklift operators, they play for keeps. Especially because they're not licensed to know any better. So how's everybody doing? Oh, we got we got nothing going on now. This isn't the high stakes uh, quest for first place. This is hanging back and letting a slow guy win. Letting him win. I hope we have, um... I hope we have enough days left to get all the forklifts. Alright, let's try to... No, no, we can't. We have one big rectangular hitbox, or a collision box. We cannot stab through his forklift with our tong. Uh... What would you call those, anyway? The little shelf. I'm no operator, and we didn't get any training, so I shouldn't be expected to know the technical terms. And the music's so hyped up, too. Yeah, we. Yeah, that's true, we did get training. Mark yelled at us until we hit the right buttons in the right order, and that's about all that happened. I'm just trying to murder the man. I'm just tr I'm just trying to murder him. Finish. Interestingly, uh, because we move faster than three by default, that means you really need more practice. 
Here's your prize. That means our forklift is just a better forklift, which just doesn't seem fair. Time for work. Give me your best. I will try. I need that money, Mark. For what? I don't know. We can't fucking buy anything. I'm ready. Take this cargo to warehouse number 18. 18. The route map. Today's quote is written on the map. We did 18. No problem. Okay, get to it. No then. problem. See, Mark. Oh, our, oh, our starting location might be different. Yeah. Yeah, we're in a different starting location. Um. Mm, we didn't get three. So we need to make sure we get three. No, oh no. Well, you know what? This is actually fine. So, if I understood that map correctly, we want to go this way. And then down here? Yep, yeah, number 18. It's somewhere in this direction. Although this way we have to deal with no, oh, he stopped existing. Uh, is it over here? I'm in the wrong place. I took I took the turn when I shouldn't have. Not there. Should have followed the signs on the ground. A fucking cat. Cat, can you fucking? You motherfucker. Oh, this cat is screwing me over. Okay. Gonna see if we can make up for that mistake. Can we get them all in? Can we be the best forklift operator Mark's ever seen? I don't know. I don't know. But we're gonna try. If I remember correctly, all we have to do is go through that opening ahead of us. Oh, you motherfucker, you saw me coming. We have right of way because we're the protagonist. Me, who, what, what do you mean you don't know that? That's not my problem. Hey, I'm a duck. How you doing? Are we doing carts this Friday or not? Do you know? I think if enough people pester Shifty, we might be able to get something going, but... If people are, like, busy doing, I don't know, holiday stuff. Oh, this is 18, right. I'm like, wait, where the fuck am I going? You know not. I'd like to get one more carts before the end of the year, but I understand if things are just too busy. I think we'll be finishing Shenmue tonight. I think. I do have plans at like 8.30ish. So, we can't go forever. You don't even get D&D, &D, oh no. So we basically have about three days. Three Shenmue days. Which, eh, maybe, maybe. I'm actually surprised at how fast this game goes. It's like, what, a 20 hour game? Ish? On average? <laughs> you wanna cancel the holidays? <sighs> and we get Christmas every year. How often do we get D&D? Come on, guys. Come on. Was that guy just punching at nothing? I think he was. Oh, do you think we're gonna get mugged again? Oh no. Let me try to fix this a little bit. That's as good as it's gonna get, I think. You know what? Let me just slightly adjust this. I probably shouldn't care, but... Eh, why not? Even though I want to get all the crates into their spots on time, we're gonna get interrupted. Oh no. 
I wonder if they're gonna have even more dudes to mug us, though. Or is it gonna be, like, the same amount? Because we beat their asses the second time. They gotta bring something more. Why would they just try again? Like, what, do they think it's gonna be different? They think Ryo might be tired today? Maybe they'll try to drug his lunch. Give him some laxatives or something. Oh, that was Goro. Just wandering the docks. Can't see shit. I can see that black cat, though. It's just prowling, looking for a place to get into my way again. I really do hope we can buy something with all this money. Because so far the game hasn't allowed us to do that. There hasn't been any way to actually buy anything. Hmm, I wonder... Oops. If we figure out that the bikers are connected to the Chiyo men, or they work for the Chiyo men, the Mad Angels, will we have to stay here, or will we have anything to do in Debrita? Because we know there are bikers in Debrita, so I'm assuming we'll go back there at some point, and maybe fight them or something. You know, when you're putting something down like that, you can't move. Probably to prevent you from putting the box anywhere that it's not supposed to be. On the plus side, while you can't fuck around with that, you can determine, or you can hold the reverse button so that the moment it touches the ground, you can reverse. That way you're extra efficient. And you have to be super efficient in this game. It just makes sense. Who doesn't want to do their job perfectly? Even though it doesn't actually impact the amount of money you're paid to do your job. <laughs> or or your performance or review or anything. I am glad they gave us one of the higher end forklifts though. Because we're going way faster than other people. I'm, I'm I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, but only if I think it matters. That's probably why I play, uh, uh, not play. That's probably why I do achievement hunting. Oh, it's lunchtime. Lunchtime, eh? <laughs> They're just being safe. It seems really uncomfortable. Oh, okay. Oh. Yo. Let me take a picture of you two. No, that's okay. Don't be shy. Stand there. Here we go. Both of you get in closer. Smile. Amazing. With our not girlfriend. That's it. Here goes. Good smile, Rio. Oh, he he tried. What do you want? Yo. Oh, we gotta go for the nice one. The one on the the one on the right. We know how Rio truly feels. Okay, this one's yours, and this one's Nozomi's. <laughs> Why would you give her the shitty one? They're keepsakes. Why would you do that? With her. Why not just take two pictures? I... I'm going to Canada. What? <laughs> I took a while to decide, but... Hey, if it's what you've decided, it's what you've decided. Ryo, don't do anything stupid. Of course I won't. Too late. I'll always treasure this. No, you won't. Ryo, take care of yours too. I will. 
I'll come back when I'm on vacation. Sure. So, you're gonna forget about me in like a month. Bye then, Ryo. If that. Two days. She will forget about Ryo in two days. I still can't believe she gave the other photo to Nozomi. Like, that is... That's something. Where's, there's my run button. Alright, how's everybody doing? Kondo-san, what's up? Okay, are you, are you guys useless? Nothing. Hey, Tiyoshi. Hey, Ryo. Are you hiding something from me, man? No. You kind of got that look, you know? Like you're hiding something. <laughs> well, I'm not. Are you really? You sure? Well, you be sure to let me know if something's up. Uh, are yeah. Are you... Are you profiling me? You getting the hang of it? Yeah, I'm not cut out for this. I'm so freaking tired, you know? I just want to go home. I see. Not to say that forklift work isn't hard work, but... I don't know. At least you're not doing it yourself. Hey, Tiyoshi. I didn't mean to talk to you. Something? You look like you're bad enough to make some serious damage. Well, I'm not. What? He won't talk to me. I can talk to him. Hitoshi. Ryo, is your lunch big enough for you? Yeah, it's plenty. You can have half of mine if you want. Thanks, but... Hey, Gustus, how you doing? Appetites. Uh, sometimes I can't finish it, you know? Is that so? All right, I mean, I'll eat, I'll eat your food, whatever. Mark, have you seen any of the Mad Angels? No, sure haven't. All right. Let me talk about that in front of everyone here. Uh, I have seen this played before, but it is my first time with Anton. And I saw it, like, years and years ago. We're busy in our forklift days. In fact, I don't think there's anything... I don't think there's anything we can do right now. We have to gather around at night, or we have to stock this place at night. Which means we have something more important to do than talk to people. We have to invest. Invest in our collection. Actually, we could talk to Tom real quick. Um, yeah, fuck it. Let's talk to Tom for a second. What's up, Tom? Tom. Hi, Ryo. Oh, that's it? Honey, son. Whoops. Hi, Ryo. Is, is that it? I've got something to ask you. There we go. Do you know where the Mad Angels hang out? I don't know. Ryo, I heard a rumor that you are going after the Mad Angels. I've got my reasons. Trust me. No, man. Do not go and get mixed up with them. If you know anything about them, please, Tom, you've got to tell me. Sorry, but I don't know, man. Really? Look, he's just really concerned. He's just super concerned about Ryo. Uh, that cutscene took a lot of time out of us, so we don't have a lot of time to do this. Because I think work start restarts at 2. So let's try our luck today. You know why I'm here, lady. Give me the fucking candy. And give us a goddamn number 4. Why don't you? I'll take this. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. I wonder how many chocolates we have at this point. Sure. Draw a raffle ticket. No Nothing. Way. Try again another time. Another time. This is another time. So I will try again. I wonder if there's actually something we should be doing. I'll take this, please. If we wandered around. Sure, thank you very much. But I mean, what else are we gonna spend our money on? Sure, draw a raffle ticket. It'd be nice if we could spend our lunch break. Okay, lunch break is two hours. We could take a half an hour to go back to Dubrita, spend 45 minutes there, and then a half an hour to come back. Like, it's not... It's not crazy to do it. It's just a little time inefficient. But if all we need to do is pick up some scrolls, it really wouldn't be that bad. 
this one. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. Sure. I think we have time for one more. No way. Jesus. We are doing I bad. The time. Real bad today. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we need help with at the moment. Other than our luck. Our luck is not doing good. If you know us, uh, please. A way to get the yeah, prizes sure. we want to get, that would be some good hot tips. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. But as far as we know, it's just random. Because I think Shrek looked it up last time. No way. Oh my god. Oh, that's okay. bad. Alright, well. That's all we got. We could have actually gotten something with our money, but another time. It's already this late. We did get the supersonic and the metal sonic. We did get lucky. Uh, I think it was on Christmas Day, which makes a lot of sense. But I want those forklifts. Okay. I just want. Th Whoa! Why was it fucking turned like that? Okay, calm down. Controls are freaking out. One second. We're good. Back to the grind. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Mm, sir, you're crossing over a small path. Please don't. No, no, why are you like this? Everyone, why are you like this? Aren't you supposed to work, walk towards traffic? Not with traffic? Where am I going? You're supposed to ride your bike with traffic, right? But you're supposed to walk towards traffic. So these guys are just breaking the rules. Or maybe there aren't even any rules here. This whole place is lawless, except for the police officers. Actually, those might not be police officers. Those guys might be just security. We actually don't know who those people are. Ooh. Almost had it. We just first and second prizes are great. Oh, we did win the um We won the boom box. I don't know what th in in here, whatever this place is called. Uh in the in the harbor. I don't remember what the first prize is in Debrita. Oh actually you you know this game well, don't you? Do we get a chance to go and shop in Debrita after this? At any point? Because we have a lot of money. And I'd really like to go back. Just don't know if we're gonna be allowed. I good enough. Good enough. Ooh, a console. We did get two um we got Space Harrier and I guess hang on as games. But we don't have a way to play them, I suppose. So yeah, I guess we'd need to win that too, don't wouldn't we? Oh look, our racing is paying off. As we drive blindly forward, unable to see what we're doing or what other people are doing. You know, I bet everyone actually hates Ryo because he's being so aggressive with the way he does his job. He just has the fires of rage to drive him forward. The fires of revenge. 
He visualizes every box as Londi's head, and he has to put them in their place. Uh, I... You kind of get a feel for what, what you're doing. It's mostly straightaways. Oh, so close. So close. Like, once I get through this little alleyway, it's pretty much fine. And hey, if we hit somebody, it's probably their fault. Probably. Also, you can kind of see through the bottom of the pallet. Just a little bit. Oh, we are definitely not gonna get all the crates in this time. Took too long before. Oh, you motherfuckers. Oh, you motherfuckers. How dare. That guy stopped existing. Okay, we're good. I didn't want to do that. What? The, whoa, Jesus. Why are people just exercising around here? What the fuck? Does that person know where the hell they are? You realize you're surrounded by forklifts that can't really see you, right? It's a lot of crates. It's a lot of crates. And it's a long distance, most importantly. I think there's some code that if there's a forklift next to Rio, but also other people near that forklift, the forklift just needs to stop existing to avoid soft locking Rio. Because I can imagine that if enough people pile up at the right times, you just can't go anywhere. And they're too stupid to, like, back up properly. Maybe there'll be an easier day tomorrow. An easier, uh, route to where we're trying to go. Not like this one's hard, but it is a little... There's a lot of driving involved. Ah, close. Every day is harder than the previous. Oh, full shit. I mean, we're gonna get, um... Quota, for sure. Not really concerned about that. Although I guess if it's always harder, so that means almost necessarily you will put in fewer crates. But we always get a pay increase. Oh god. Then we're always making around the same amount of money? Depending? I'd be curious to see how the math works out on that. Yeah, it might balance out. Because if every crate is worth 50 more, but we only lose two or three crates because we don't have enough time because of the distance and whatever, or the difficulty, then, like, it probably covers it. Oh, fuck. Fuck. What, sir, what the fuck are you doing? I, I can't get away. He was stun locking me. He doesn't want me to get caught up. What a piece of shit. Come on. I feel like real forklifts don't drive this sloppily. It's it has a, this this uh, forklift just has weird loose turning, or like the turning hmm continues a little after you stop. I guess is how I'd describe it. And the harder you turn, the larger that effect is. They probably go slower. Well, you're probably supposed to make them go slower. You're probably not supposed to be able to uh, go 30 miles an hour in a forklift. Due to the potential for decapitations and whatnot.
There's also supposed to be proper, like, driving lanes to avoid head-on collisions, but, you know. Oh, come on. Hey, Bethel. This motherfucker again. Get out of my way. I want to see some souped up fucking forklifts. To see real forklift racing. I'm sure someone's done it. They do lawnmower racing. They must do forklift racing at some point. I'm running low on time. I think it's over at 5. Nine to, I mean, 9 to 5 makes sense, so. I think I said this like every session. I'm just guessing because they never actually told us what our working hours were, I don't think. They just said, hey, you want a job? Hey, you good to work now? We're like, yeah, we want to get trained. Hey, Mark, train him. What? What are controls? Ah, do the buttons. You're good to go. Good. That's all the training we needed. That's all the information we needed about this job. We didn't even know how much we were getting paid until we got paid, I think. I'm not sure about that one. I'm not sure if that's accurate. It's hard to remember. We can get in at least one more, maybe two. Especially if I'm sloppy about it. Uh, because Shenmue is about living the life of Ryo. Ryo happens to be a martial artist who's on a quest for revenge, but he still has to live a life. He still has things to do, bills to pay, ex except for the fact that he doesn't have any bills to pay at all. Uh, we're actually only doing this because we're trying to get the attention of the Mad Angels. Uh, in the next game, we might actually be working because we need money. But in this game, you don't really need money for anything. I mean, you can you can get money to then make more money, but otherwise you don't really need money. Oh shit! Are we gonna make it? Oh, not like that! Not like that! What? What did I hit? What did I fucking hit? Oh no! Oh, we cleared it. It's good. We're fine. We're doing circles. Oh no! Alright, the next guy has to figure out how to get the forklift out of this predic predicament. There we go. Finished for the day. It's not a game where you're trying to rush to do anything. Okay, good job. Here's it's a game day. to just relax and explore a weird environment. Or a strangely normal environment, actually. Quota, son. So starting tomorrow, you'll get a 50 yen raise. Damn. That'll be 450 yen per crate. Damn. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Did we fall clear yeah, yesterday? Thank you very much. I thought we didn't. I thought we got distracted. We keep ending up in fights, which take a lot of time. Wait, we can enable some... Wait a second. Hold up. Uh, let me... This is on the original Dreamcast. There are subtitles? Oh. Shenmue mode versus game mode. How did I not see that? Interesting. Well, thank you. Wish I'd put that on earlier. That'll help people. Okay, so now we're dicking around until night. So we got two hours to kill. Um. I want to ask you about the mad angels. Word among the fishermen. Is that they're a nasty bunch? Yeah, I guess so. See you. Now I wish I had figured that out way early. I just assumed the game was too old to have it. Do you have a minute? Huh? Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? 
Uh, I know who you mean. Do you know anything about them? Sure, that they're real annoying jerks. I sometimes see them dumping these large sacks into the sea. It's made of people. Of that, shouting something about how they gotta hurry the deal up and all. I really wish they'd keep it down. Hurry the deal up, that's I new. See. I don't think we heard that particular line before. We did save the homeless man and he taught us a cool thing that we don't know how to really pull off because... Well, we did pull it off in the training. Excuse me. Eh? What is it, youngin? Do you happen to know where the Mad Angels hang out? Why are you looking for them? I hear you've been getting yourself in all sorts of trouble. I really need to know where they are. Yes. No, please tell me. All right, already. Come back here at night. It's step forward, dodge and throw, yeah, and then there's a punch after. Here at night. At night. I understand. Thank you. Don't go doing nothing reckless. You hear? If you go at night, several days. He's. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll keep talking to him. What are you doing? I saw you today. Excuse me. Sorry. I'm in the middle of my training. Let me train with you. I'll train with you. Oh, what a coward. He taught us the shadow step, and then he taught us the... Or not the shadow step, but like the dodge move. Then he taught us the second half of the dodge move. I don't know if that counts as a third move, or a second move. And then he, I guess he's going to do us one better. Oh, we're, we're going... We're going Alpha Rio here, like 99% of the time. Also because I want to see what the failure states look like. We're, we're seeing all the paths we can. Thanks to the power of save states. Yeah, not much going on around here. We've still got an hour till night. And also, it's not like the game does, like, the game doesn't autosave. It's a very classic save system, so even if we messed up something important, we could technically go back to the main menu and reload. Well, we chose not Elbow Assault as our main move. Um, we chose probably the, a bad one, but that's the one we do. And it usually works out. I don't remember what it's called, but we get an after image when we use it. Let's see. What is the name of that move? Twin, ha twin hand waves. The problem is that it's really slow to recover from doing it to the point where I'm pretty sure we can be, it's like always punishable if the enemy decides to punish us, even if we hit them with it. But by God, we're gonna make it work. It's all we need. Just like, oh, oh, that guy was intimidated by our presence. Yes, jazz hands. Forward vertical jazz hands. But they're kind of jazz hands. Oh, no. We, we fucked up a... I'll take this, please. We fucked up. Oh, no. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. There's so many secrets in this game. No win. Oh god. No Not even a single win. one. I wonder where we were supposed to learn that. Actually. This one. Maybe we weren't. Sure. Maybe we were not talking to enough people. Because it's hard to continue talking to people when most of them say the same thing. Yeah, 
No oh my god. I just want that goddamn forklift. And we can't even win anything. Oh, you played it when it got released. Damn. I own Shenmue 2, and I played it very briefly as a child. Take this, please. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't understand this video game. And I stopped playing. That was my experience with Shenmue 2. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. Yeah, this must be really weird if you've never seen these before. No win. It's such an interesting time capsule. And just weird gameplay. Not typical gameplay. I'll take this. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Yeah, whatever. You keep buying these chocolates and I gotta keep getting more out of the back. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. Well, the graphics are still good today. I mean, no win. Graphically, it was incredible. There were there were a lot of incredible things about this game for the time. Today, eh, it's got flaws. It's still interesting, but it it's not for everybody. I'll take this, please. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Things like buying one item at a time at a store, kind of unnecessarily slow. Sure, draw a raffle. But working a job, a 95, waiting for someone to notice you. But sprinkle in events where people try to mug you. Eh, that's pretty interesting. I like that. That's too bad. Yeah, like Second Life, but without all the first. <laughs> what happened to that game? I remember playing that a little bit when I was. In, like high school. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. I remember. Sure. Draw a raffle it, Either it was news articles or just people talking about how people were spending lots of real money to purchase virtual space. No. Holy way. fuck. Uh, virtual space and Second Life for like their own personal building grounds. Things like that. Ah, the metaverse. I think Facebook is giving up on the metaverse because they have no idea what yeah, the fuck sure. they're doing. Thank you very much. They liked the name, but they don't know. They're not game developers. They don't like. And there's no way you would be more sure, productive a as a ticket. worker in an office going through the metaverse than just what you're doing now. That doesn't make any sense. I won. <gasps> oh my god. It's the one we want. Well, also, it's past seven. I need to go outside. I want this one, because red goes fast. Here you go. I am a large child, madam. Thank you for my toy. I need to leave now. I need to beat up some bikers. I live a weird life, madam. So we're a little late, but it's okay. Oh no. Long time no see. Oh no. This is the guy who's been sniffing around us like a dog? Looks like we're gonna have to run this straight off now. Oh no. <laughs> and then Rio fucking died. Oh, okay, it looks like it just restarts. Long time no see. This is the guy who's been sniffing around us like a dog. <laughs> looks like we're gonna have to run this straight off now. Uh, that was also around the time that um, what was it? Eve. Eve Online was very big around then too. Oh, are we just getting on the motorcycle? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Damn, Rio, when did you learn how to drive? Pain. Oh, shit. 
Oh. Oh no! My everything. Where's it gonna put us? Okay. That's why we have save states. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. I'll give you pain. What's our plan? Are we gonna kick him? Oh, okay, we gotta do that. Damn, Rio. Oh, oh shit. Did we fuck up? It's just, it's probably gonna be a, uh, we lost him, so it's not gonna be that interesting. Oh no, I fucked up. Oh, but the boxes. Those box animations. Where did he go? This place doesn't feel big enough for this kind of chase to make sense. He's leading us right where we want him. Smooth move. You ain't so bad, punk. <laughs> Your friends are dead. Why you? But your time's up. <gasps> you wish. Oh no! Oh no! They just appeared out of nowhere. Takes on the mad angels in this harbor and lives to tell about it. It's the bottom of the sea for you. Oh no. Get him. So you're gonna stab or shoot me, right? N no, you're gonna. You're gonna use uh. How do I do my move? There we go. There we go. Hey, how that didn't even connect? Are they all dead? Uh oh. You little brat, I'm gonna break you. Oh, those guys were pathetic. Come on. Come on. Oh, we have to fight the boss. No, how do we how do we do that move we don't know how to do? Wait, he can parry that? That doesn't even make any sense. What are we supposed to do? One second. Is there a... I suppose we can't learn how to do that move now, huh? I'm trying to do it, but he said there was a second move, but he didn't actually teach us how to do it. Hmm. We don't really have... Yeah, just keep punching them. Oh. I think we're gonna fall over. I think we might fall over. We just gotta... Just gotta heal up a little bit. Don't worry about it. Just, just gonna, just gonna cower this one out a little bit. Break his ribs, Rio. God, these camera angles are terrible. That worked out. I just don't know how to use the shadow step into like the, the hip or the the neck. I think it was the back of the neck. And Chi Ming connected. Uh, I, I don't know. What? W wait. I don't know if he's Chi Ming, but there's some Chinese big shot leaving here soon. Uh, big shot? Yeah. They had me arrange a cruiser to take him out to a big ship offshore. What's his name? Uh, I don't know, but I hear he wears some silk robe thing with a dragon Ooh. on it. Landy. He's still around here. He's just hanging out. Please, I beg you, don't tell anyone I told you. They'll kill me. All right. Well, we was just gonna walk away. I feel like you could get more information if you really wanted to. Also, I should I should probably have taken a motorcycle. Lundy is still in the harbor. Find out more about the trade. All right, I want to get back to that old man in case he still has something to teach me. Maybe he has to teach us the rest of the move. Because I don't think we we can actually do the move yet.
It's, isn't it weird that they could parry my dodge? That's such a weird thing to be able to parry. See you, Pebble. Have a good one. Hello, old man. Excuse me. Eh? What is it? We're here. About the mad angels? I heard a rumor that you're still looking for them. Yes, I am. I heard that they are planning some deal. Do you know about it? The deal? The deal. I did hear something about some large-scale deal happening soon. Have you heard anything else? Well, I don't know none of the details. All right. I should go home. Should I? Old man wanted me to be here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna quickly cycle the zone to see if that does anything. I don't think it would. I don't think that's how this game works in particular, but you never know. Nothing tonight, huh? Excuse me. Eh. What? It okay, he's fine. Well, I guess we're going home. And it's still going to be too late for us to purchase any scrolls, which is too bad. Hey, Goro. Goro. What's grooving, bro? What's up? On patrol, brother. Patrol. Patrol for what? Seeing if those nasty bad thugs making trouble in harbor are around. You seem as in harbor. <laughs> Speak for yourself. How's work coming? I'm managing. Hang in there, bro. Sure. Thanks. I don't know if you can win against a little squirrely guy with just dodge and elbow assault. Not with the camera angle I was given, anyway. That guy seemed really tough. Well, I guess we're standing here now. And Asan is gonna be mad. Yeah, we tried a few times, but the camera angle was, like, bugged out. So we, we just couldn't. I could never tell which... What, what was it? I could never tell which way I was facing, or I could never properly face him. I couldn't see him. It was just really zoomed in on Ryo. It was weird. And I couldn't seem to be... I couldn't move it either for some reason. But, eh, it's not a big deal. If we, like, lost all our money or something, then I would have tried harder. I don't know if I could have beaten it, but I would have given it more than a few tries. I'm just gonna double check. I'm... Yeah, all these are closed. What a shame. Oh, that's right. It was facing at a wall. Yeah. I just, I just couldn't see. Oh, hey, Nozomi. Hey, girl. Nozomi. You're leaving me. Hi, Ryo. Saved up enough money for your trip? No, not yet. You're going to Hong Kong, right? Yeah. It's so different from Vancouver. What's it like there? Beautiful. Surrounded by lots of nature. Right. Well, I'm still on shift, so... See you later. Are there many people buying flowers at 10 o'clock at night, Nozomi? I don't know. I don't know. Hell, it's almost our curfew. How could she still be working when we have to go to bed? Oh, yeah, that's fair, Shrike. There you go. Tie your, your work tie tied around your head and flowers in one hand, and I'm sure she'll accept it. She'll, she knows that you were out drinking with your buddies again because you forgot about the tie on your head. But she appreciates the flowers. Oh shit. Is that cat still there? Is Tama still there? We have time to talk to Tama. Or is Tama all grown up? I think Tama's all grown up now. Tawa's leg was fixed, so I'm assuming that was the good end cutscene, maybe. 
Or maybe we needed to slow down our investigation a little bit and fuck up a couple days. Because we, we were pushing pretty hard every day. I don't think it was ever a wasted day. I don't think that's what the what the developers intended, to be honest. Well, we got technically on the property before 1030. But she's going to be bad. We're probably going to get a talking to. One minute late. No, we're fine. Nice. Well, we just talked to Nozomi, so that's that's also fine. Uh, look at the time. Yeah, I, I know. Let's go to bed. Um, yeah. Did we get a move scroll from the basement? I don't know. We can check. Uh, do you know what the name of the move was? Oh, no. Nightmares. New Year's Day. Whoa, gotta get going. Londi is still in the harbor. You gotta find him. But first, we gotta race. We have achieved ranks one, two, and four. We need to get rank three. And then five. Five is gonna be the easy one. Hmm, I'm curious about rank five. We'll, f we'll figure that out when we get to it. Good morning. Yep, third this time, fifth next. Three laps to the finish. Everybody ready? Yeah. Oh, yes, we do have that one. Almost time to go. I don't know who we're supposed to show it to. We don't have the ability to go talk to anybody. Those are not allowed back in Debrida right now. Go. Daily forklift race. Imagine if Friday night carts was every night. Or every morning, I guess. All right, number three. You cannot shine today. I must take advantage. I must be here. This is where I will be now. I'm actually going to beat two as well. For the moment. Just in case we fuck up on the third lap somehow. I don't want to get first. I already got first. I already have the first forklift. I can get in front of first. How's that? Look. Oh. Oh. Ah, we got in front of him. See, look, we did it. I'm just gonna... Keep pace with one a little bit. Oh no! It's happened! It's those fucking corners. I don't yeah, I don't want it. I don't want second place either though. We got first and second. We need to get third place. We gotta. We gotta get them all. We got fourth place yesterday because I couldn't remember if we got third already. It's complicated. It's really dumb. It's all very dumb. <laughs> yes, I will get third, thank you. I will take that offer. Oh, we actually caught back up to one a bit. I wasn't really paying attention. I just realized there is a kilometers per hour in the bottom left. What's 30 kilometers per hour to miles per hour? It's not one to one. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, 18 miles an hour? Okay. That's, yeah, that's pretty speedy. For such cramped quarters, that's pretty speedy. Where is he? Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. We're oh, okay. So we're now in third place. Yes, rank three. That's good enough. Oh, man. So close. You almost had it. Almost. It's like I just stopped moving for some weird reason. That, that's weird. Thanks. Thanks for the follow. It's time for work. Let's get cracking. Let's get cracking. Where are we going today? Take this cargo to warehouse number 18. Here's the map. 18 again? The quote is written on it. No problem. This one's a bit further, so don't get lost. No, I want to get lost. Oh, I think I know where we are. Yeah, I don't think I need to look at the map. Let's see if I'm right. Immediately get lost. Yeah, this is like the furthest location, isn't it? Whew. They're making us work for it. Oh god. Yeah, I'm not sure, Shrike. I'm gonna... I'll do a quick save and then just speed up time. Just to see what happens. Oh god. Oh, making a point with- Oh right, they would know Chinese. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that at uh, lunch, I guess. Wait, I'm going too far. Going too far. There's 18. Yeah, I probably should have thought about that. But, yeah. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'll have to do that at lunch. Oh, wait, we make the appointment at lunch, and then we probably see them at night, right? Because they're weird like that. You motherfu- Whoa, I killed that man. That man is dead. Yeah, there's not enough room for two fucking forklifts here, Jesus. Oh, jeez. Well, I didn't pick it up very well, but hey, here we go. This is not exactly a safe working environment. Even without Rio here, I don't think this is a very safe working environment. We probably shouldn't have joggers here either. That's probably that's probably bad. Come on. I think the trick is to be as haphazard as possible. We're not gonna get all the crates here, so we may as well save a little bit of time per crate. And just hope for the best. Oh, yeah, I could, but I'm not gonna... I'm, I'm not gonna worry about getting every crate. It's just, why? It's not gonna happen. I just need to be more haphazard. <laughs> I need to be l less careful. More dangerous. Also, this money doesn't matter. As far as I know. I guess we do need a certain amount of money to... You motherfucker. A certain amount of money to get onto the boat. Unless we can stop Lon D from getting on the boat. But he, I think he's already on a boat. Eh, yeah, it's just, just for fun. High score.
It's a shame that we don't have more use for the money that we're earning. And that we don't get bonus points for making people phase out of re reality. I wonder what the highest quota you can get. Highest uh, money per box you can get. Or are there a set amount of days, period, at this point? Can we actually, like, waste time? Is that even possible? Like, if instead of asking people about things, we just stood in place until we teleported home, would the plot push forward? I feel like it wouldn't. But I don't know. Maybe maybe we'd be dragged into fights. Into QTEs no matter what. I understand before we got this job that it would be easy to waste time and, like, fuck up. But I don't know how that works now. Oh god. That large salary man can about out of nowhere. I couldn't remember if I put something down there. Making a right instead of going, oh yeah, yeah, that's the dotted line. I suppose we can try it for one. The problem is, he there's a lot of people on that narrow path, and I don't know if it's going to be worthwhile to do it. Also, there, we know for a fact there aren't night workers, so who's putting these boxes here? We know there's no one here that comes at night to do a job. Hmm. Mysteries. Yeah, like that motherfucker. Yeah, it's okay. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe when, when little Rio goes to sleep. Maybe someone comes in, starts moving cargo. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. There's just civil well not civilians, I guess they work here, but they slow the whole thing down. Ah, oh, there we go. That was a clean pickup for once. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, time to Lunchtime, eat. Eh? Time to call Chen. What's the acronym? Hideck? Heavens? No. I'd have to look up the code again. Good lunch. I don't know who made it. Actually, we didn't see a lunch. I'm not convinced Rio ate anything. We saw no animation, therefore. Oh, we get free lunches. Yes, the payphone's in the direction we're running right now. Ah, that's true. Maybe she maybe she's nice to us. Maybe. Grab that. Grab it. 
six one five six four seven six one six one five six five six four seven five six four oh thank you seven I should have looked at the code. I think it's a deck. Hello? Mother's Earth. No. Comrades? Comrades. Father's Heaven. That would be nine dragons. Nine dragons. Warehouse number eight. Master Chen, please. Excuse that was lucky. My name is Hazuki. Just a moment. What is it? Yeah. I must consult Master Chen. Arrange us a meeting. Yeah. Father's not around. Well, could you meet me? I need to talk. Hmm. Tell me if you must. If you must. Maybe we can go there right now, actually. That'd be nice. You know what's annoying? Although it makes sense to have go on the right trigger and reverse on the left trigger, making Ryo run is left trigger. Where making the... Forklift go is the right trigger. It's just kind of weird. Excuse me. Eh? What is it? He said to join you last night and you didn't About show up. The mad angels? I heard a rumor that you're still looking for them. Yes, I am. I heard that they are planning some deal. Do you know about it? The deal? Mm. I did hear something about some Okay, we we heard this. We're we're good. Oh, that skybox is a little pixelated now that I'm paying attention to it. Oof. Uh, I need to go to warehouse number eight. I have an appointment with Master Chen. What's your name? Ryo Hazuki. I've been expecting you, sir. Please, go on in. He's so polite. Oh, I have to actually walk to it every time. Okay. At least I know where it is. Mind if I ask you something? In case I fuck this up. What is it? Oh, good. Could you translate this for me? A Chinese martial arts scroll. The stab armor is a palm blow that utilizes the body's power. Take one step forward and two steps back, and then tense your limbs. Hmm. The resulting impact is capable of penetrating armor. Whoa. Powerful enough to fell a fierce tiger in one hit. It's just a palm it's just a palm strike. It's, it's a just a different style from mine, so it's not clear. It's but it's just a palm strike read while practicing. Perhaps you could master it. Really? I have work to do. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. Alright, well that's good. Thanks for that. Now we get a new technique we'll probably never use. So we didn't learn it. It was forward, back, back, and then tense limbs, which is probably kick and punch. All right. Well, I don't know when we're going to be able to try that move, but... What I do know is it's time to invest in our future. In Ryo's future. Nah, we're going to try it live, because I'm sure we're going to be in another fight tonight. We have forklifts to, to achieve, to obtain. We just need one more. Come on, lucky chocolate. Chocolate's never let us down. This one. Not ever. Sure. Especially not yesterday. Sure. 
worth draw a raffle ticket. No Dang. way. Hey, Frosty. Bad. It's going all right. We only have one more thing I need to gamble for. Ne need. Ne need to gamble for. This one. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. You actually missed, like, motorcycle chases and big fights and all that, and you came in for, like, this. The most uh, low-key part of the game, <laughs> one could say. No win. Ah. That's too bad. The chocolate is holding out on us. How dare it. Guess we're gonna go to Caramel. Gotta show chocolate that we don't need it. This one. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is the big part of Shenmue. Let's be real. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. Gambling is just a big part of the game. No win. Damn, even caramel. Try again another time. He missed a couple fork for lift races. How about potato chips? Will they be our saving grace today? I'll take this. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Yeah, if I remember correctly, they did up the gambling a lot in the second one. There, Shenmue 2 was Shenmue 1, but sure, more of pretty much everything, including absurdity. Fifth prize. Not what I Here's want. Your prize. Open it up and take a look. This isn't what we want. Also, we uh, are technically late for work. Oh, it's Amy. I thought I think we already had Amy. Also, that was more of a red than a pink. It's already this late. When you're gambling, you just lose track of time. Was it number 18? Yes. It's always number 18. Whoop. I don't know why it's always number 18, but it is always number 18. On we go. Just a casual, comforting forklift ride. Nothing dangerous about this. Not for Rio, just for other people. But to Rio, this is just nice and quiet. Probably. He might be bored out of his fucking mind. I don't know. He doesn't say anything. Unlike a lot of protagonists in this kind of video game, this kind of genre. Rio doesn't talk to himself all that much. Just whenever he has a goal, but then there's long periods of time where he just says nothing. Yeah, he'll he'll react to things, but he's not just going to hold a conversation with himself when nothing is going on. This isn't like Deadly Premonition... Or, uh, even Death Stranding has a little more talking. Sam talks to himself a lot. Especially when you fuck up. And also people talk to Sam a lot. Oh no! Goro? Oh no! What are these guards for? With a guy. He... Hey, schoolboy! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> you, Uber what a stupid recurring villain! It's just this guy. Hey, over here! <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. Hey, schoolboy! How many times? <laughs> I took the bait. How many times are we gonna do this?
How many how many times are we gonna do this? Oh wait, is this is a cutscene. You guys again. I think this is a cutscene. Yep. Oh, that was oh. Oh, it turns out Rio was actually kind of weak. He just got lucky. You guys again. What's your problem? Alright, I think we're just gonna kinda go through it, cause it's not gonna be that interesting, I don't think. To fuck up. Also, Rio is fucking destroying it right now. Look at him go, like holy fuck. Oh, the pipes! Those pipe shots. You're gonna pay for beating up Goro. You his girlfriend. What's what to you? Say? Best watch your back. Next time it won't be just you. What if what? Rio just crushed your We're throat? Go after your family and friends. Oh. Jam. That's it. Oh. Actually, that's a good response. If they're gonna threaten your family, you murder them all. You murder them all. This training is worth the time. It's really good. It's a laid-back game. But if like a group of bikers said, "I'm gonna, we're gonna kill your family," you, you, you would probably finish them. You'd probably, you'd probably be like, "No, nah, no, you're not. No, you're not actually. Not if you're like a super martial artist like Rio, who already beat them." They'd be sleeping with the fishes. He'd find those sacks, just toss them out there. I don't... I don't think Rio has canonically killed anyone yet. I feel like he's gotten some people murdered by just happenstance. Like the guy he fucked up and the... He, the dude and his motorcycle fall into the water. Possibly the motorcycle fell onto the dude trapping him and sinking him to the bottom of the sea. Like, we don't know if he lived through that. We can just guess. Or he might not have. There's just no way to know. We've ne we'll never see that man again. Once again, I don't think we're gonna get all of them. Especially not if I'm taking the safer, slower route. So I guess maybe we'll spice it up a little. Just a little. Let's see what happens. You shouldn't even be allowed to drive a forklift near this edge. Like, this is insane. This is incredibly dangerous for everyone involved. Oh no. You know, I didn't mean to go back this way, but here we are. Oh, for some random anime news. Uh, I hadn't watched My Hero Academia in a while. Apparently I watched seasons three and four. And they were like, okay. They were, they were fine. Or maybe it was four and five? Whatever the second and third to last seasons were. Oh no. They were like fine. They weren't, they just didn't feel that interesting to me. Uh, but this current season? God damn. God damn, it actually is super fucking good. Uh, seasons for My Hero Academia. Also, Blue Lock is really good. Considering it's just a fucking show about soccer. I didn't, I'm like, eh, fine, fuck it, whatever. It, it, the, the intro, or the, uh, the art for it made me go like, okay, is this like an escape room thing? What the, why do they have locks on their, why do they have locks on their necks? Like, it's just about soccer, what the fuck is going on? Uh, yeah, the new My Hero Academia is fucking phenomenal. It is super good. I highly recommend you, you watch it. It's kind of like... They had they had to have a lot of boring backstory on the villains that you really didn't give a shit about. This is really not that interesting. They had to do that whole arc where you didn't get to see the people you wanted to see. So that this 
season is really good. They had they had to just tank a season on purpose, pretty much. Because I was I was bored. I didn't care at all when the new season was announced, and I only started watching it a few days ago, and then I binged like the whole thing. Uh, I think I think another season starting next week or the week after, or it's like season six core two or whatever the fuck they're doing now. Uh, I would recommend getting through it, just so you can understand what the fuck is happening on the current season. I I would say it's worth it if you liked seasons one through three. Three has the big, uh, the big moment with All Might near the end of it. To not say spoilers in case anyone watching hasn't, doesn't know what the fuck we're talking about and wants to wants to watch it, like the big All Might moment. Uh, cause that was amazing. That was fucking great. Uh, then the season after, whenever the fuck that happens, is boring. I think it was 4 and 5 that were kind of boring. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. There's a shit ton of characters, and that can get confusing. I forget characters' names all the time. I also felt that way when I was watching, like, Game of Thrones. It's like, god damn. God damn. But, to their credit, they know that people have no idea who the fuck anybody is half the time. And so every time a character is introduced for the first time in a given uh, episode, they have their names on the top of the screen with their ability name or their superhero name or something like that. To be like, hey, it's this guy and this is their move just in case you forgot. Because there's like 50 fucking characters. Oh, you motherfucker! Really? Really? It's almost like I said this was a bad decision for them to have this so narrow. I told them, but they didn't listen. And then and the blue lock is pretty good. It's surprisingly good. Maybe that's why why I liked it so much is because I had low expectations going in. Although I will say, uh, regardless of what Blue Lock is for quality in terms of content of the story, that 3D tech making it look 2D looks really good. Now. Like they are fucking nailing it. They're doing such a good job with making 3D look like old school 2D and better. Like I'm excited for the next age of anime if they can do it all 3D like this. Because it just looks so damn good. Sci-fi show called The Peripheral. Oh, I haven't heard of it. And no, I have not watched it last time. I've watched, well, I've watched a little bit of it. It was pretty funny what I did see. But isn't that like Apple only, Apple Plus only or some bullshit, which is, I don't give a shit. I'm not giving Apple money. Oh god. Oh god, what am I doing? I think it's only on Apple. Or Apple TV or whatever it's called. Apple Plus. I don't think Apple Plus is a thing. Oh shit, we're out of time. Hello, would you like a would you like this? Thanks for the lunches. You want a free cargo crate? You wanna you want a free cargo crate? I got one. I, you want where do you, if I leave these outside? Where do you where do you want me to house. where do you want me to put it? It's all yours. I don't know what's in it. Finished for the day. And Rio just gets out of his forklift and walks home. Okay, good job. Here's today's pay. Not as many in today. Thanks. You met quota, son. So starting tomorrow, you'll get a Damn, we are raise. fucking loaded. That'll be 500 yen per crate. Damn. Thank you. Didn't we start at 250? Keep up the good work. Yes, thank you very much. I guess it's only 5 bu if it's 100 to 100 yen to a to $1. That's only five bucks a crate. Hey, Dio. I overheard some information. 
information. But 19. I heard them all whisper. 87. About Long Ja. That is soon. Oh, Long Ja? Best I can figure, it's some mad angel black market deal. Makes sense. They right, Rosty. Lately. Long Ja. When's it supposed to happen? My god. Alright, I'm gonna make a save. I'm gonna be right back. And I'll just reload, so we'll see what happens when I just walk away for a few minutes. So I'll be right back. Well, it looks like literally nothing happened other than I got a little darker. Okay, so when is the next Long Ja deal? I don't know. Let's find out. Hey, officer. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you have time? I'm on patrol right now. Can't you ask somebody else? No, come on. Where's this black market deal going on? You know. the term Long Ja means? Long Ja? What's that? I heard some mad angels talking something about it. We shouldn't tell people can't imagine what it is. about Why don't this. Why you ask someone else? Is that so? Let's talk to the old man, actually. He should be the first person we talk to. Goro probably doesn't know about it, I'm gonna say. And I'm assuming we don't need to talk to Mark more because he told us. Swallow. Yes, we did learn the swallow dive. Also. Oh, youngin, it's you. Are you dying? I heard about you. Here you're after the mad angels. Yes. I know you want revenge, but. If something happened to you, how about the Hazuki tradition? But I. No buts, boy. If no one were left to carry on, oh, what a shame that'd be. I will show you another. Ah, here we go. Hmm. What's that move? It's called the cross charge. Amazing. Just at the moment you evade, slam into your opponent's side. Can we practice this one? When use up against multiple opponents, they can all gang up on you, you know. This move is perfect for times like that. 
Thank you very much. Why? Why does it do that? I, d I don't understand. Well, I guess we learned cross charge. Let's take a look at it. Cross charge. Y and B. Huh, interesting. Uh, I don't know exactly why that beep happens. Maybe there's something wrong with the emulation, I don't know. But every time we... I, I don't even know if it does it when we fuck it up. I think it's when we succeed in doing something during a training segment like that. It does that horrible beep. Hey Tom, do you know about the black market deal? Tom. Hi, Dio. I've got something to ask you. Have you heard of the Long Jaw? Long Jaw? Maybe. The Mad Angels guy. Just not on all three of them. That name. I need to find out when they're making this Long Jaw. Sorry, I don't know anything, man. Really? All right. Well, let's ask around. Do you, have you might know. What is it? Have you ever heard the term Long Jaw? Long Jaw? What's that? I heard some of the Mad Angels guys talking about something like that. Maybe it's a code name or something. My God. But lately, I have seen them. Something about some Hazuki guy. Oh no. Okay. They know about us. I mean, we we already knew they know knew about us, so it's not really a, a big deal, I suppose. Mark, do you have anything else? Mark. Dio, I got some big news. Huh? I overheard Tony and Smith saying that a long job Tony and is Smith. going down soon. Really? When's it gonna happen? Maybe within the next few days. <gasps> I see. Be careful, Dio. Yeah, you too, eh? No problem. I'm cool, but I'm worried about you. Dio. Are are you? The date of the long jaw. Someone must know. Yeah, but finding out ain't gonna be easy to them. It's like a really big deal, you know? Maybe the only option is to ask them directly. That's a good well, way me. to do it. Dio. Believe me, I know. But I'm prepared to take the risk. Dio. Oh, okay. Two foreigners I rarely see. Tony and Smith, a part of Long Ja. It's Dragon Slag? Huh. I wonder if that's actually what it's supposed to be. Or if it's supposed to be something else. Yeah, do you know about the long shot? Um. What is it? Is the stand busy? I also have to work on thinking up a new menu. Oh, okay. So I guess you could say I'm fairly busy. I see. I've got to go. I'll stop by later. Okay, I'll see ya. Oh, the sailors? Oh, well, I mean, they don't just walk around, to my knowledge, so. Maybe I can leave? Maybe I can leave. I'd like to leave. Although the antique shop probably closes at 7 anyway. Um, let me walk all the way to the opposite side. Would it? So I guess Mark overheard this from Tony and... What's Tony and Smith? Yeah, Tony and Smith. Wait, so one guy's name is Tony. The other guy's name is Smith? Smith is usually a last name, so that's kind of weird. There's never anybody over here. Except for that one time there were some schoolgirl punks. Listen. I'm list I'm fucking listening. I'm doing it. But I'm not hearing anything. Hello, sir. Um what the 
Do you know when that Mad Angel deal is going to take place? How should I know? Oh, okay. Rowling is, um, JK Rowling, which is Harry Potter, right? Just to confirm. Oh, is it? Did she really just put two last names together? Yeah, people don't know all the cultures very well, do they? Excuse me. <laughs> hey, rookie. That was a weird Used laugh. To driving the forklift? Uh, get a move on, kid. So you can transport higher numbers. Is he being a jerk or not? I can't actually tell. Hey, old man. Um. I ain't feeling so good right now. Come on back later. He needs his spirits to get his spirits up. Well, looks like a whole bunch of nothing. Can I leave or no? Maybe I should ask around about the mad angels. I cannot leave just yet. There's something I need to find out. I don't know what that is, but we'll find we'll find out. Excuse me. Huh? I'm out of here. I didn't catch even one fish. Ah, what a <laughs> Happens to everyone, you know? What a bad fisherman. Everyone point and laugh. Hello, miss. Um. Sorry. I have an errand to run. Sorry, you're not worth my time to even talk to. Yeah, I really don't like the idea of eating any of the fish that you catch off the dock. It seems, uh, bad. I say as I eat my delicious, delicious sushi that is full of microplastics and mercury. Mmm, it's so much healthier for me. At least it doesn't have lead. That we know of. Fuck, we had the same conversation last time, didn't we? Just slightly different. All right, so, uh, hey, video game, what what the fuck do you want me to do right now? I haven't wandered back this way in a while. What about you, sir? Are you the kid who knows everything? Got business here? No. Um, well, a bit. I hear it gets real dangerous around here at night. You really? Go on home as soon as possible. Maybe I need to wait until the mad angels come out. Oh, this guy's holding one of those batons. I'm like, what the fuck is that weird red? Um, do you have a minute? Sorry, but ask another security guard. Are, I see. Are you walking around hoping you're going to beat someone up? I think that old man likes to beat people up. The way he's just hitting hit the baton into his hand. Oh, they all do that. Maybe they're paid to do that. Talk to him already, I Got think. It. What the hell you want? Do you know when that Mad Angel deal is going to take place? How the hell would I know? Hmm. Same response. How? How suspicious. We should take him in for further questioning. Rio just sets up a torture shop somewhere in one of the fucking warehouses. Kind of surprised he hasn't. All things considered. But there's nothing here. There's just fucking nothing here. Maybe we're supposed to talk to Chen. I suppose I can do that. Just gotta call him again. Either way, we have one race to go through tomorrow. To get our number five.
I should learn that uh, code again. Ugh. So, six, one, five, six, six, one, five, six, and I think it's four, seven. So, four. And I'll go over the seven. Then I gotta learn the code again. No, that's too far back, I think. Uh, we should really have little tabs. Where the fuck is it? Maybe it is further back. We have a lot of blank pages, holy shit. Okay, it is Hadek. Heaven, Dragon, Earth, Comrades. Oh, thank you. Father Seven, Nine Dragons, Mother's Earth, Comrades. Is that the only combination they ever ask for? Hello? Mother's Earth. So, comrades. Comrades. Father's Heaven. Dragons. Nine dragons. Warehouse number eight. Master Chen, please. Excuse me, but you are... My name is Hazuki. Just a moment. What is it? Yeah. I must consult Master Chen. Arrange us a meeting. Father's not around. Well, could you meet me? I need to talk. I don't know if this is a good plan, but we'll find out. I should go home. No. If we're going home, we're gonna teleport home, Rio. We get other shit to do first. I have to say now that I've played this personally. I don't like that you get trapped in the forklift section of the game. I wish you could still go back to Dubuita if you wanted to. Uh, I need to go to warehouse number eight. I have an appointment with Master Chen. What's your name? Ryo Hazuki. I've been expecting you, sir. Please, go on in. We still have time. All right. You gonna have anything for me? Ask you something. What is it? Could you translate this for me? We have something else. A scroll, and it's in Chinese. Oh, fierce tiger, thou art ruler of the forest, the bravest of character, as tranquil as the most majestic of mountains, as swift as a bolt of lightning. Ah. As violent as an earthquake jolting the great earth. Show no mercy. With twin fangs strike and rush up Moon Mountain. Striking fear in all, nary a soul challenge thee. Okay. It's a secret poetry. Secret? To maintain secrecy, the technique is written in poetry form. Only one who's received the master's verbal instruction. Yeah, I think you're right, Shrek. Understand its meaning. Why did my father have it? No idea. But I'd assume if he had the scroll, then he received instruction from the original master. Oh, okay. My father? I hold on to this. Perhaps someday you will meet the master who wrote this. Maybe that was Master Chen. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. Who oh, knows?
should should we call him should we call him again? Let's see if I guess we could do that tomorrow during lunch. Are you good? Excuse me. I ain't okay. Alright. Alright, uh, all right, all right. You know, skipping through dialogue actually does save you a lot of time. I could assume a speedrunner, or not a speedrunner, but someone who's going for 100% completion would want to skip basically all lines of dialogue. Can we actually make it back in time? I don't think we can. Also, I can't really get any closer than this. Just waiting at the bus stop. Burning time. If only we had like a Game Boy. That'd be fun. If you're gonna make us wait, give us the ability to play a mini game. Spent too many years doing that for your. I'm assuming for your job. Uh, does that bus exist? Ah, uh, university. Well, I guess. Um, guess Rio doesn't get to go home today. I, I guess I guess we're here until tomorrow. That's not a bus. That's not a bus. That's a lady. You oh my god. The fucking nerve. The fucking nerve. She knew better after. Cutting in line. Cutting in a one person line. Jesus. Alright, can we make it? Whoop. Not not if I use the wrong Look at the time. Oh no, I know the time. Time is late. It's almost 11. We'll see if we can make it. It is fun learning the city. Just learning the layout. It'd be nice if we had to go talk to more people in more of the smaller parts. Because there's a lot of stuff that we... There's no reason to ever go there. You can knock on every door, but there's not really much of a point. It'd be cool if there was a point. Even if it was for something minor. Well, I guess we technically made it back on the property before 11. Oh, come on. We can do it. There we go. We made it. All right, let's go to bed. Not the final race this morning, but the final one that we care about.
Gotta find Tony and Smith today. Also, Rio is very punctual. He gets on that bus at exactly 8 o'clock every day. I don't know why I'm saving. I'm not, I'm not gonna fix mistakes. Actually, there is something I want to fuck with something. You all do your best now. Yeah. Like always, three laps. Time to lose. Everybody ready? Yeah. On your mark. Almost time to go. Ready? Go. All right. Is there a spot we can fuck with the other drivers? Is there a spot that's too narrow for two carts? Uh, this is not a bad spot. This seems like pretty good. Oh no! Oh no, they slip by! Damn. Maybe, maybe, let's try here. If I'm pushing forward even a little, they stop. If I just keep tapping, because if I hold it, actually I can just hold it. Now this is forklift drive. <laughs> uh, now this is pod racing. So, is there a time limit? What if no one finishes? The developers almost definitely didn't expect me to do this. I'd be shocked if they thought... Like, they could say, okay, the player lost because the other four uh, racers won. Right? But what happens if the player prevents the other racers from winning? Oh, late for work. Okay, well, I guess we still got a cart. Gotcha. Today you gotta move cargo between warehouses. Gotcha. We are late for work today. To warehouse number eight, and unload it there. Then take a crate from warehouse number. Wait, what? To warehouse number eighteen. You know where that is, right? I take this to warehouse number eight. Then I take number eight cargo to warehouse number eighteen. Oh, this is way more complicated. So you don't get mixed up. The quote is written on the map. I got it. I made everybody late. So, I go from here to 18. Wait, no. I go from here to 8, and then from 8 to 18. Okay. Let's see if I can figure this out. Now, I know the, like, the route. The routes, the roots, the roots. So this doesn't go to 18, this goes to 8. Hey, it's not a dude for it. I will... I think you just missed us doing it as slow as fucking possible, actually. We couldn't have made it any slower. Uh, is this side in? No, the far side's it. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Is this... 
Oh, they're inside. I see. I was expecting two doors because there were two doors on the uh, on the map. Yeah, get it all done before lunch. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's not the worst in the world. It just takes you a minute to get used to what the fuck you're supposed to be doing. They also put this... Because you can only save every day, they make you race. And if you do good at the race, you don't want to reload, because you just did good at the race. Also, if we get paid by the crate, doesn't that mean we just put down two crates? That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, R route achieved. Oh no, I always want to take that turn. Oh really? Okay. Technically, we can save anytime because it's emulated, but on original Dreamcast, you, you can't. I like, I kind of like that you can't save any time. It makes the things you do have more... It kind of makes the things you do have more purpose and more consequence. You can't just redo every five seconds. And I think there's something to be said about that. I know in games like Skyrim, I get caught up a bit by reloading all the time. Granted, most of the time in Skyrim it's because you fucking die, but you know what I mean. It's nice to have a little bit of consequence and make you try harder than just spamming retry over and over again. Oh, nice, nice. I, I have Shenmue 2 on the Xbox? Yeah, it's, it's a tricky balance, because, like, if you make it more challenging, then you just die more. And even if there's a non-permadeath mod, uh, they're not always very good. I went through a big Skyrim phase, and I feel like I might be... Uh, Maybe I'll be doing another phase soon, but uh, it's really hard to get that right. Also, Skyrim is just jank as fuck at this point. Someday we'll get a six. It probably won't be what anybody wants. Not really, but we need a six. We just need a better foundation. We need the characters to not be so empty and hollow. And have better animations. Okay, so we didn't actually get that many crates done. Not as many as we could have if we started on time and knew what the fuck we were doing. But, I think we did okay. Um, I will be getting the RE... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I don't know why that destroyed my concentration. I will be getting the RE4 remake because I saw a little tiny, little tiny glance, glimpse at the at the gameplay, and it looks really good. Um, I recently 100%ed RE4 on Steam, and like, damn, I, I want more. Um, I don't give a shit about Dead Space because Dead Space was ruined when EA took over. Dead Space 3 is a fucking travesty. I forced Frosty to play that with me. I don't know if Frosty's still here, but she knows how fucking bad that game is. Oh no. Oh, wrong way. Uh, Dead Space 3 is a fucking hot mess. Yeah? Oh, you get a fucking lie in front of everybody. Thanks. Great. Thanks for simply lying to the people. Uh, and then Silent Hill 2 Remake? They're probably gonna fuck that up too. That does sound like Neo. <laughs> so only I only have faith in RE4 because Capcom knows what they're doing. But RE, uh, Dead Space is gonna suck. Hey, bro! And Silent Hill 2 is probably gonna suck. Hey, my Goro. Bro, me, I'm gonna settle down and go straight. Wow. Gets me a real job. Work hard and marry her. Damn. Mary, but she's too young. 
Don't you know, Ryo? Girls can get married from 16. Jesus. But to Goro? Well, Goro, he's not so bright, but... Oh my god. A heart of gold. Yeah, but Goro... <laughs> <laughs> well, bro, be seeing you around. Ria, what are you... D All right, well, they're going to be a happy couple, I guess. But they seem happy, like, they seem happy and it's legal, so, yeah, whatever, right? Ryo's kind of a dick of a friend being like, y so you're gonna marry someone, but this guy? Like, this guy? Really? This piece of shit here? This guy that I beat up, that I tried to beat me up and steal my money? This piece of shit? Goro's older than, Goro's probably like 17 or 18. He's probably, I'm assuming he's the same age as um, Ryo. Which, I don't know how old Ryo is now that I think about it. He's 18, yeah. I would assume Ryo and Goro are about the same. It's just because of the haircut. <laughs> it's a fucking, what is that, a pompadour? Yeah, but did you hear his voice? He's clearly very young. And dumb. Wait, was I doing something else? I think I'm just gambling. I gotta get that forklift. Just sneezing. I'll take this. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Hold on sure. just a second. Draw a raffle ticket. What do we win? Fifth prize. Ooh, a prize, but it's not the one I fucking want. Prize. Open it up and take a look. All right. Is that at least something we don't have? Nope. I think we have that. Kid Sarah won. Maybe we had Kid Sarah too. Oh, wait, we're going to talk to Chen. Um, let's gamble. I mean, invest a little bit. We'll probably have more time to talk to Chen. Oh, probably. I'll take this. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. The most exciting part of Chen Moon is right here, right now. And everybody here knows it. No win. Fuck. Try again another time. Get a cassette tape? Why would I want a cassette tape? You have to put forth a good reason. I mean, I have a boombox. And I have some cassette tapes. I'll take this. But getting a... I don't think you get a prize sure. if you buy a Thank cassette tape. Much. Or a chance at a prize. We just need one more number four win. That's it. Just one more. No win. Fuck. No prize, eh? Come on, Ria. Where's your luck at? You have pockets full of chocolates, but where's your, where's your luck? This one. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Okay, Costas, but how do we go today? How do we go? Because Rio won't leave. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. And I can't go during lunch. So how do I get there? No win. Fuck. That's too bad. After work, run for the bus stop. Okay. Because I've been trying to go every day and it just won't let me. It's very frustrating. I'll take this, please. But yeah, that's yeah, we have money for all those scrolls. I'd like to get them. Is there anything else we should be concerned about? Sure, draw a raffle ticket. Because I can only think of the um of the move scrolls. No win. 
Come on. No prize, eh? I want to get this goddamn forklift. This one. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. I wonder when the randomness is decided. Is it decided when you hit sure, the button from the box? It. No win. We may need to do some no some scummery, but I'm not sure if I want to. So uh, our luck is betraying us right now. I don't know if we need this forklift. I'll take this. Leave the store and come back in. Sure, thank you very much. Are you just making shit up? Sure, it's got a raffle ticket. I feel like you might be making shit up. There we go. I had to call out. I had to be suspicious of someone. Pick the one you like. To have luck come to me. Blue. Okay. Because it's the one we don't have. We are free. We are free from this gambling hell. We don't need to do this anymore. We're leaving, and we may not come back. We might. We might come back, but we may not. Thank God, we got everything we wanted. Uh, now we can scare some birds, I guess. We have like 10 minutes to kill. This isn't even enough, this isn't even long enough to do a training session. However, it is long enough to get a nice refreshing cola. And by cola, we of course mean grape. Get a grape. You gotta treat yourself once in a while, Rio. Oh my fu- are you fucking kidding me? I won. Son of a bitch. God damn it. When we don't care, now we get one. Why? Why are you like this, Shedmu? Alright, well I guess we'll use it later. Or we'll keep it. We'll, we could just keep it. Right? It's just gonna be in our inventory. It's already this late. We're late a lot. All right, back to work. I don't know what we were doing. First, take the cargo to warehouse number eight. Yeah, I know. Then go to warehouse number Yo. eighteen. Ah, fuck. Guess we'll grab this one. Well, I thought he was punctual, but he's getting lazy, I guess. Or greedy, or both. Oh, so just we, because we make Rio late doesn't mean Alpha Rio is typically late. We hope to emulate his punctuality, but we may not always be so accurate ourselves. Yeah, until until the gambling starts. Oh shit. We're probably gonna make a bank today, huh? And I do like when number go up, so I mean we may as well try. I just don't know why we need number to go up. I think the scrolls are a couple thousand a pop, so I think we'll be covered there. Also, in case anyone was thinking I was going to do this stacking in a particular way, uh, too fucking bad. I'm just doing, I, I'm moving on whim at this point. There will be no OCD involved. Because we're not stacking all of them. It's just not going to happen. Although if... If only we could illegally modify our forklift. 
Make Rio go just a little faster, like maybe double speed. I don't know. That would be something to, to behold. That would really get our productivity up. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, we could work through lunch, but then we wouldn't find out about Londi. I think Mark only told us about Londi, or about the Long Sha, on lunch. Yeah, because we didn't sit with the guys that day. Mark pulled us aside, I think. <laughs> We're just looping, Emo Duck, just like this game. Although the work might change very slightly, it's still the same job. It's picking things up and putting them down. What's... What's almost sad is that, uh, oh, I can't even say it anymore. I was gonna say what's sad is that I feel like I'm getting too good at this in general, but then I, I fucked up pretty bad there, so. You know. Actually, no, I will say it. I think I'm too good at this. This is a really dumb mini game. I've never been able to do an Arnold voice. What was that guy doing on the side there? He was all bent over looking at something. Maybe it was a clue. Or maybe it was fucking nothing. Who knows? Oh, this one's picked up real bad. It's fine, I guess. Now oh, we got about two hours. We're gonna get some more money. Wait, wait. Wait, wait for it. Fucking perfect, look at that, amazing. Such high skill. The next guy who has to take over after me, he hates me. He fucking hates Ryo. Fortunately for Ryo, that guy doesn't know who Ryo is, because if he did, Ryo would already be dead. For the amount of extra work it takes for that guy to organize Rio's jobs. That's true, they do incentivize speed, not quality. All things in life should be gamified. I think that is the key to efficiency and success. Oh, you motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. Problem is, you don't necessarily want to pay everybody like a video game. But for important things, maybe. Like, uh, pay doctors extra money every time they have a really good outcome for a patient. It's like, here, extra money because the patient recover. It's, it's like a longer term thing, right? But you would make sure the doctor had more time with the patient more better understood what was wrong with the patient things like that it's like oh hey they're getting bonuses for making sure the patient's in a good place not that I think our doctors are bad or anything but I feel like it could maybe provide better outcomes I'm not seeing a world where it would have worse outcomes no I'm not saying penalize them for bad things Although, I kind of see what you're saying. They don't get to... If the doctors can't choose... the If the patients are randomly assigned to the doctors, they would still have the same uh, incentives, I think. Or are you saying they just give up on the bad ones? They'd still get paid, just not a bonus. Nah, it'll be fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Run him over. <laughs> Fellas. Got a question. 
You know about the long jaw? What? What did you say? You know. I don't know. Hey. Hey, wait. Uh oh. What are we doing here? Are we doing a race? We're doing a race. Oh, barrels. Oh no, boxes. Oh no, pipes. Hey, Bob, help. I'll get rid of him. Oh no, thugs. <laughs> oh no, I don't know where to go. <laughs> oh no. You crazy. Oh Jesus. I'd probably want to go after that guy. That's the guy who always talks to us. Ah, oh, damn. Yo, you didn't do a very good job. He almost got isekai by uh, Truck Chan. <laughs> okay, let's uh. Oh, that was a risky jump. Bob. I I hit the button, you motherfucker. Ooh. Do the elbow assault. You hit. You crazy. Did any of those other mistakes even matter? You need help? Jojo. Oh, I fucked that up. I was trying to watch what was actually happening. We caught him. Strong as Rio. When's the long jaw? I I don't know. I'll break your arm. But I don't know. I swear. Break it. Only the boss of the Mad Angels knows. Break it. Who is the boss? It's T Terry. 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 Please don't tell anyone that I told you. Everyone saw me Send chasing me the of you. The oh. Where is he? I don't know. It's the truth. Terry's real careful. How many people do they kill from their own members? Rio, you gotta start snapping limbs. Got your pay. Ooh, that took a lot of time. Here. Thank you. No. Damn. Yeah. Over six thousand. Someone came to see you earlier. Really? Yes, a young man in a suit. He asked me to give this to you. Oh, okay. Thanks. We got a QTE this letter. The mad angels are after you. Beware. <gasps> Whoa. Guizan. Okay. Uh, the long jaw. Maybe Master Chin knows about it. I just want to get to that bus stop. Yeah, we had no idea. Hey, can you read this scroll? Hazuki. Master Chen, is Landy coming for the Long Jaw? Why do you know about Long Jaw? I got it out of the Mad Angels. So, is Landy coming? Landy has nothing to do with the Oh Long no. Jaw. Only the lowest Chiyo men members are involved. But Terry and his gang have arranged transport for Landy to a ship. He's acting as a guide for Landy so as to ingratiate himself with the Chiyo men. He says Lan. Terry Rio says Lan. I already know about you. And that you're trying to stop the long job. The items we deal in are expensive. Paintings, calligraphy, antiques, gems. Terry's gang deals in contraband. The next big shipment is drugs. Drugs? If they get established, our market will be destroyed. What kind of drugs? If our trade route is disturbed, it will cause trouble for us in China. Ah, if that's true, that's okay. You see, go home before you get hurt. 
I can't do that. Someone as young as you should not be involved. Tell me when the long jaw is. I cannot tell you. Oh. Rude. But if you can be patient and listen to my counsel, no harm will come to you. Father! As written in the letter to his father, I'm bound by my promise to Ju Yuan Da. I will hear no more of this today. Imagine saying that to somebody. Well, I'll back off for now. I won't talk about this anymore today, but tomorrow, yeah, sure. I would not have wanted you to throw your life away so senselessly. You don't know my dad. <laughs> he wanted me to fight and die pointlessly all the time. All right, let's fucking go for it. Can we make it? Also, need to find a guy named Terry. Sleeping on is just avoiding him. <laughs> nice. Is it gonna turn us away again? Because it turned us away every fucking time we tried. Oh, <gasps> we can leave. Oh my god. Do we have enough time? I don't know if we have enough time. The bus gets here at like fifth uh the fifteen. So it'll be here at six fifteen. We'll get there at six forty five. Ish. I don't know if we can actually buy everything. It depends on how late the antique store is open. I'm gonna make another save slot. I guess we're just standing around waiting for a bus again. I wonder why it lets us go only today. Only today. Hmm. And the antique shop is somewhere on the right side, but I don't know specifically where. Let's see, I don't think I can skip this cutscene. You can't skip much in this game. You can't skip a little bit of dialogue. I typically don't because it's... I think it's what the devs want from you. Is to just watch everything. Also, that wasn't quite 30 minutes. How about that? Fucking run, Rio. It is time to go. Where's that antique store? That's not an antique store. No, that's a bakery. It's somewhere. That's an agency. No, it's not that. Is this it? Yes. Get in there, Rio. So it has a white front, glowing white doors. Give me a shit, don't care what it is. Don't care what it is, I'll take it. Take it. I'll take this. Thank you very much. I can't skip this. Oh shit, I thought I could skip this. I purchased from Takayama in Hida. It was discovered at a dojo that had some connection to China. Please don't close at seven. Get the bottom. Please don't close at seven. Nope. Yeah, 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 yep, yep, buy it. I'll take this. Thank you very much. I heard that this move was left by a jujutsu fighter, but it was too difficult for anyone to master. Wow, no one could master the move. How unlikely. I haven't been, okay, we have plenty of time. 
Okay. Twin Swallow Leap. So it, it, you said that the move that I like to use, I can't get it anymore? I'll take this. Thank you very much. Or I can't get the upgraded version of it anymore? Behind by a martial arts expert who is researching the Korean style Taekwondo. I could go to the door, but I could buy everything first. May as well just buy it, because it's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, don't explain it. Don't care about your history, sir. I need these moves. I'll take this. What if I can buy that clock? I bought that just to have it. Dojo owner in Okayama. It depicts a move from a style that is no longer practiced. Probably because it's bad. I just bought a bad move. I made a mistake. Mud Spider. Rio has to give it a long look before he buys it. Thank you very much. I purchased that scroll from a martial arts expert, said to be a ninjutsu technique, but ninjutsu. I'm not certain if it's real. Was his name Naruto? <laughs> All right, I think that's everything. I don't think I can do anything over here. I can't buy the clock. Or can I? No, I can't. May as well look around. These are mostly Chinese antiques. I think a schoolboy like you would want. These are Chinese works of art. <laughs> As Rio's wrists shatter. All right, well, got all our moves. Gonna walk away. Let us gamble a few more times. Oh, he's not very lucky. We'll gamble until they kick us out, which is in like 15 minutes. Hey man, this. Oh, you can't skip him. It's so going high speed skips. Oh, you can't. You can't skip any of that though. Ooh, prize. Got something. Here you go. Yeah, the boom boxes are here too. One, man. So we did get a boom box at some point. Fuck, it's that guy again. Fang. No one cares about Fang. Thanks, man. Alright, let me buy one more. Let me buy one more. Caramel, it's fine. Rio, move your hand faster. <laughs> okay. Hey, man. This. Draw a ticket. You know, I'm curious, is that just like a block of caramel or what? Oh yeah, I do need to read the scrolls. Whoa, twice in a row. That's pretty lucky. Here you go. Unfortunately, we're getting bad capsules, so. Hey, Sonic. Why not? Sonic 1. Thanks, man. All right, well, I'm gonna—I'm just gonna walk away now. Mud spy. Oh, let's start from the top. According to Grisan, it's a hand move. Oh, I just had to do this to learn it. Okay. This seems to be really powerful. Twin swallow leap. Okay. Judging from the pictures, it's a leg move. 
mud spider. It appears to be a hand move. Rising flash. Doesn't look that good. Judging from the pictures, it's a leg move. Looks like a throw move. Ooh. So twin swallow leap. That seems pretty nice. Oh, that's just an uppercut. Stab armor does look pretty good. It's pretty fast. Forward, back, back, punch, and kick. And where's Twin Swallow Dive? Oh. The Twin Swallow Leap. It's only one kick. I thought it was a double. Well, there's Mud Spider. Arm break fire. I wish putting these in as R worked more. I think I'm gonna do the uh, stab armor as our R button. Oh, also, we haven't checked this in a while. We have 55 chocolates, five caramels, and nine potato chips. We are hoarding quite a bit here. Nozomi's not here. Where's Nozomi? Excuse me. Yes. Ready for Halloween, that's right. Um. Let's see. You're that Hazuki boy. Yes, you're. Yes, yes, that's right. Nozomi is always talking about you. I see. Amazing. Amazing. Hey, do you know about drug deals? Got a minute? Hey, what's the matter? May I ask you something? Ryo, can't you come back some other time? Wow. I see. Please forgive me. Excuse me. I thought you were my friend, and now I know the truth. You are not. All right, I think we just need to go home. Well, it looks like... Costas, are we close to the end? And by close, I mean how many more days are we from the end of the game? Actually, no. No, I think we just have to end early tonight. Because I have prior engagements. Prior plans. So we might have a shorter stream on Friday. But then we probably have carts. I need to talk to Shifty. Yeah, it's... The timing's just bad. So we might just have a short stream on Friday. We might also just start up Shenmue 2 on Friday. Ah, who knows? Because I'm probably going to go straight into the next one, to be honest. Considering there's, like, no time jump between the first and second games. Oh, if it's two days, then yeah, I, I can't. I definitely can't. I, I have, like, 20 more minutes. <laughs> so if it's more than 20 minutes, then it's just not going to... It's not going to happen. But hey, we got all our gambling done. Uh, we got all our gambling done. We are getting fucking bank. We got paid. Now yeah, we we got stuff to do. The time for Shenmue is over. So thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. We'll be back on Friday with probably this and carts. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.